Bush up to it on the trust today. Yesterday, Governor of Delta State went to meet Sinubu and brief him up to take steps taken to quell the crisis in Delta State. Sheriff Upuri, where he was at the state house yesterday, and let's see how all of this pans out. And part of the things he said is that did he envisage all the things that happened? Mr. President there. assured me that um, um, the peace, that he is support of the peace, and we both condemn the killing of the officers and the, the, the soldiers because they are there on peace mission. And uh, what is happening now is something that we did not Secondly, uh, the case of Anamdi Kandu again, you know, uh, not being granted uh, bail and, and not being granted, you know, to be able to take him out of the court, uh, to be able to change the prison he wants to Kujie prison from the DSS custody. But one thing that was instructive that he said was that he said if he's given the chance, if he comes out in two minutes, he will solve the insecurity crisis in the Southeast. Obviously, things have gen degenerated in the, such a way that all the criminal elements now are now, you know, causing insecurity in the Southeast, apart from, you know, the hitherto orders given by the IP IPOB, which the IPOB has said that there should be no more, you know, see that and all of that. So uh, that's that. About it. And they're doing it because I'm, 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 in, I'm in DSS. That's why they, even I said, no idiots can try this for me. And they know it very well. They know it very well. And I suspect that some people in government are complicit. They are making money with this security. They are making money with it. They know now the cannon is outside. In two minutes, this nonsense will stop. Who is the idiot? Who is the bagger? That will, that will speak when I'm talking. Who, who is the fool? Who is the idiot? I ask. Secondly, uh, there are a lot of also story making the rounds now that the, the mining uh, minister, uh, Mr. Dede Alake, has said that if uh, mining companies are going to, uh, if mining companies are going to come to Nigeria and get mining license, they must also be able to set up, you know, refining locally. And that's what we've always, always calling for. So kudos to the minister. And as we got sports, we also have a story making the rounds about Finiti, George, and Finiti pretty much, I think, is how the first training with some of the Nigerian players that will be coming, you know, for the international break. And a lot of them are getting ready in camp. They're all excited. They're all pumped up. A couple of players are already in camp. So let's see how that pans out in the coming days. All right, thank you guys so much. Really appreciate each and every one of you for your time. Bless you all. This is a quick edition of The Trust.